So what we're trying to do is we're trying to tee Sawyer a new skill, which is a top spin strike that swings the arm upward quickly to impart a downward spin on the ball. And similar to how we teach a student how to hit a baseball bat, we're trying to teach Sawyer exactly how to swing by guiding its arm through a specific motion. And this is difficult because Sawyer has a very different arm than I have. There is a different number of joints and the segments are of different lengths. And they also have, you know, varying weights. So when I demonstrate it, uh, similar to how uh, expert teachers such as Roger, Roger Federer would show a child how to hit a, a tennis strike, it's difficult because just, you know, it's a different body. So it's hard to show the perfect strike in one motion. And this is why we would say that my demonstration to Sawyer is suboptimal and our motivation for trying to learn from suboptimal demonstrations. After we learned the relationship between how much the uh, noise amount is, ad it is added and uh, how much performance degradation happened, we can go the negative noise conditions and try to make the robot policy be better than demonstration by extrapolation. And what really inspires me is being able to put robots in the hands of end users, people who don't have extensive computer science training, programming experience, uh, or mathematics. And I want them to actually be able to teach robots how to do novel skills or tasks to help them in their everyday lives at home, how to better fold their clothes or make a meal for them, all the way up to elder care tasks, or perhaps even in uh, situations like robot assisted surgery. And the challenge here is that humans are not experts at everything they do. This research is really impactful. I think it helps to democratize robotics. Um, no longer do we need uh, expert human robot teachers and programmers that know how to design all these fancy reward functions in reinforcement learning and programming and hacking in Python. Uh, we're actually helping people uh, without these advanced backgrounds to, to really benefit from the advances we are making here in the lab.